footage, blood. Man, a riot in HMP Birmingham. Out of control. A rare glimpse into the chaos that engulfed Birmingham jail. Now the men and women endeavouring to run these regimes claim riots and violence, like this one in Bedford, are on the increase, and it's the government's fault. I will be very clearly laying the blame of the state of our prisons um, at government. Government austerity measures have plummeted our prisons into the crisis that um, we are currently in. And my concern is that governments seem to be shifting the blame towards the leadership of the prison service. Governors are lining up with prison officers who walked out last month in protest at the levels of violence. There were more than 9,000 assaults on staff in the 12 months up till March. That's up 26% from the year before. Prisoner-on-prisoner -prisoner assaults have also gone up to more than 22,000, an increase of 16% on the previous year. Today, the government this announced that prison officers would Thank be allowed to carry to pepper spray. This is to be used as a last resort in the same way as a baton would be. But it means that if in a situation in which a prisoner, for example, was in the process of stamping on another prisoner's head, it would allow you to be able to intervene safely from a distance to resolve the incident. Pepper spray is frequently used and criticised in the United States. These images of a man arrested for drink driving in Ohio first strapped to a chair and then pepper sprayed, caused outrage. That's enough! I don't think it's going to make prison officers any safer. Um, I mean, we know that one of the problems at the moment is that you have prison officers on landings on their own looking after 60, 70 prisoners. So there's a real risk that they'll jump the prison officer and they've got the, the pepper spray. Confronted with violence on this scale, prison staff believe the spray is an essential safety tool. Juliet Bremner, ITV News.